Brief history of osteoarthritis and back pain. At the spinal column are the elongated columns of bones, which the thoracic ribs support. The thoracic ribs push the bones a length of bone structure. The ribs join with the spinal column in various areas. Joints connect with these ribs, which are field of studies, since they often wear and tear, causing gradual degenerative diseases, such as osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is defined in medical terms as a metabolically dysfunction of the bones. The results of the drops in are life-sustaining chemicals, which promote activity causes the bones to reduce mass whilst increasing porosity. The disease can cause osteoporosis to set in and intensify risks of fractures. How do doctors consider osteoarthritis and or osteoporosis? Doctors often consider etiology aspects, including hypothyroidism, deficiency of estrogen, Cushing's syndrome, immobility, increases in phosphorus, liver illness, lack of exercise, deficiency of calcium and protein, deficiency of vitamin D, and bone marrow conditions. Wear and tear of specific joints as mentioned above is also linked to osteoarthritis. According to the pathophysiology in medical terms, osteoarthritis is assessed by considering the rates of bone resorption that exceeds the rate of the bone structure or formation. Experts will often test the patient while considering rises in bone resorption and increases in phosphate, salt of phosphoric acids, that stimulates the parathyroid activities. Phosphoric acids will form ester, which emerge from reactions via alcohol, metal, and radicals. If estrogen shows a decrease in resorption, it could also show traits of osteoarthritis. What are the symptoms? The symptoms may emerge from kyphosis or otherwise known as dowager's hump. Back pain, as well as damage to the thoracic and lumbar may be present. In addition, the patient may lose height and demonstrate an unsteady walk. Joint pain and weakness is also present. How do doctors determine if osteoarthritis is present? First, they assess the symptoms and then request tests, such as x-rays and photon absorptiometry. X-rays of course helps the doctor to locate thinning of bone structures porous structures in the bones, and rises in vertebral curvatures. The photon tests help the expert to spot decreases in minerals. What if I test positive for osteoarthritis? If you test positive then the doctor considers treatment. The treatment often includes management, interventions, and further assessments. Further assessments help the doctor weed down potential complications. The complications often include pathologic fractures, which are complex. How does the doctor manage osteoarthritis? No two people are alike therefore medical management varies. Yet, most doctors set up a high calcium, protein diet, as well as increasing minerals, vitamin regimens, and boron. Doctors may include in the management scheme alcohol and caffeine restrictions. In addition, the scheme may compose tolerated exercise, monitoring, lab studies, specifically studies on phosphorus and calcium. Doctors may also include into your management scheme estrace increase, that is estradiol or estrogen intake. Supplements with calcium carbonates, OSCAL, are often prescribed as well. Additional treatment includes mineral and vitamin regimens, exercise, and so on. Many doctors prescribe aldactazide, diazide, which is a thiazide diuretic hydrochlorothiazide. Over-the-counter meds, such as the nade-based painkillers is prescribed as well. Prescriptions often include ibuprofen, motrin, indocin, clinoral, feldine, ansaid, or flurbiprofen, volterin, naprexin, dilobid, and naprosin is often prescribed. How intervention helps? Interventions assisted by nursing staff include balanced diets, pain and musculoskeletal assessment, monitoring, meds, home care instructions, posture training, body mechanic support and training, and so on. The patient should also be informed about osteoarthritis as outlined by the foundation of osteoarthritis. In addition, the doctor is advised to allow the patient to express his slash her emotions, feelings, etc. in relation to the illness.